this is a life-saving video for you especially if you're working remotely from home or you're attending online classes because a lot of boring teachers or boring boss wants you to be active on your computer all day long but if you're lazy like me you don't like it and in that case i will show you that you can write maybe 10 lines of python code to keep your computer active and as if you are moving the mouse typing stuff while you are not actually doing anything on the computer rather maybe you are texting your friend so let's get this exciting python hack very simple one to keep your computer awake even you are not doing anything Before getting into the detail, please click like this video because my grandma told me if I don't get 300 likes in this video, she will come to your house and expose your secret to your boss. So before getting caught, please like this video. And this project is very simple. I assume that you already have Python installed and PyCharm installed in your computer. And I will just open the PyCharm and if you don't have it, just go to the PyCharm website and then install the community edition. And here I will click the new projects and you can give it any name, but give a fancy name like maybe dinosaur or some other cryptic name so that even your boss has access to your computer. He doesn't have a clue what is this program is doing. So let's get started this projects and it will take like a minute for your uh, PyCharm to start a project. Once the project is ready, you can jump into it. And before jumping into it, you need to understand what you are actually doing. So to keep your computer active, especially when you don't have access on the computer to change the settings, how long this would be active. In that case, you have to make your mouse pointer moving. So if we can write like five, six lines of Python to keep the mouse pointer moving in every like uh, two minutes or three minutes or every five minutes and maybe press some keyboard keys. In that case, computer will think that we are doing something on this computer. Actually, Python will do the work for us and we would be sleeping or texting or watching games or do whatever we would like to do. So for this, I will just need one simple Python package. So at the bottom part, click on the terminal and then install and a script is called python pip install and py auto gui. And if you type it correctly, press enter and this will take like a, almost a minute for you to install it. And once this is uh, installed, you are good to go to jump into the coding. So the project is ready. So what we can do, we can just start coding. So very first thing we will do import py auto gui. That's the package that we install. And to make it a little bit safer, we will do py auto GUI and then fail safe is equals to false. So we'll just make this out of the way. Now, since we want to keep our computer active for a long time, in that case, we'll run a loop and that loop will run forever. That means it will run five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 hours as long as we want. In that case, we will create a while loop and the condition in the while loop would be true that means this loop would be running forever and inside the for loop what we will do we would like to move our mouse maybe like uh, 5 10 or 100 pixels as if it's going like say here is my mouse and it's going like this 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 and next time comes back and doing this 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 and press few keys and we are good to go and since we would like to move the mouse like uh, for a long time maybe multiple times in that case, we will write another loop inside the while loop. And writing for loop is very simple in Python, just for i in, and you declare a range, maybe like 100 times. We want to move it for 100 times. And inside the loop, what we want to do? We want to move the mouse. So the way it will work is to, you will call pi auto GUI and move to, and you will provide the direction where you want to move it maybe your starting point and the end point. So the X and Y direction that you will mention. So X direction will say like it will start from the zero. That means the first point and the Y position for the iteration, we will every time will change it. That means the fall loop will give us one, two, three, four, five, six, and we multiply it by five. So once the fall loop is starting, the value of I is equals to zero, and this would be in the zero, zero. That means the your left most corner. And the next iteration, it will be one in that it will move to the five. 
and the next it would be 2 that would mean like a 0 that means like a 5 10 15 20 and this mouse pointer will be moving like this and that would be fun let's do this one first and then see how does it works and uh, we might want it like not continuously moving this 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 rather we will give it a gap maybe like a uh like a, ideally i give like a five minutes like every five minute do it so here i will import type so i will have the time and here time dot sleep maybe sleep for 300 300 second means like uh five minutes because 60 second is a minute if you don't know this Genma will come and slap you so for the demo purpose i will just make it maybe like uh, maybe 15 seconds so after waiting 15 seconds that you see wherever is the mouse mouse will go here and then move this way and then come back and would be running it so let's run this script and you can run it multiple ways so right click and then you can like run python in console something like this so look at my mouse pointer it's in the middle somewhere my hand is here and wait maybe 15 seconds let's see my hand so i don't have a third hand or fourth hand or fifth hand so if this program is running in after 15 seconds this mouse pointer will go you see already moved and then it's moving like you see this is moving 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 you see it's moving and it's after it's moving for like a hundred iteration and then it will stop so this is stopped right so we'll take control right now for the demo purpose but you see the mouse pointer is moving down second thing just to be in the safer side we can do a little bit like a harmless key so if you press enter or a number it might type somewhere so we will not do press any other key we will press the harmless key in the keyboard and which is the shift key so what we will do we said okay even after moving the mouse pointer for like a like a 500 pixel or something like this you we can do press the shift key and maybe we want to do it for three times so in that case we will do range 0 comma 3 and here we will do like a pi auto GUI and then we can press like the shift key so and what this program will do with this nine lines it will come you move the mouse pointer like uh, 500 pixel or something like this and then press shift for three times so this will do and you will not notice anything and you can keep your mouse uh, pointer or any key or any window active it doesn't matter all you have to do is to press this and uh, maybe like a run in the console or somewhere and you move to anywhere so you move to this place and um, or you move away from here you see mouse pointer is right now here this will go to the corner or wherever you want and it goes there uh, right now we our setting is for 15 seconds so after 15 seconds it's already went there it's go all the way down like uh, all these things for like a year 100 times every time five pixels down and then once it's done it will press shift three times and your computer would be active forever so this is a nice cool hack that you can use to act like you are active on the computer and if you have a, like a slack or you have a, like a google hangout or any kind of messenger which tracks your presence this will keep your presence active online all the time even you are having a date with your girlfriend or having a date with the friend of your grandma doesn't matter so that's the fun thing and ideally don't put like a 15 seconds here I usually put like a 300 second that means like every five minutes it will move and most of the computer would be active forever and if you want to take it to the next level you can definitely take it to run this program like from 8 or 9 a.m in the morning to the 5 p.m so that your computer doesn't act online for 24 7 and that might act suspicious now you have to do three things for me the first thing you have to do is to like this video and subscribe to this channel and second thing is to install the programming hero app if you are using an android definitely you can get from the google play store if you are a rich dude and using an iphone you will definitely can get it from the apple app store and the third thing is to say hi to your grandma that's all i will see you in the next video